Welcome back everyone to another painting with Preston. So glad you decided to join us today. So as you can tell from our painting from last time together, we have an almost completed painting. Now while this may seem beautiful to you, for me, there's some little things that we're gonna need to fix. So today, I wanna to show you how you can add subtle details to make your picture and your painting even better. So let's begin together. So you just need to dab, 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 just a little bit of your paint on your brush. And then, like they always say, trees cover up a multitude of sins, just like Jesus. And so remember, in your painting, there is no such thing as a mistake, just a happy accident. Well, at least that's what my mom used to tell me about how I was born. But anyway, let's go ahead and just put some trees right in there. Oh yeah, I love trees. One of the things I love about trees is just how beautiful they are. Don't you love beautiful trees? Sometimes I like to go out into the wilderness and just talk to trees and just spend my time in nature. Now it's not, it's not weird to talk to trees, but it's weird if they talk back to you. Just remember that. I love going out and spending time with some trees. Now again, one of the things that you may need to know because of how the paint looks is that this paint is not edible. You cannot eat this paint. While it does look quite delicious on the camera, you must remember, no paint is edible. Say that back to me again. No paint is edible. So as you can tell, we're finishing up this tree so that we can cover up the mistake that was there. And you just want to kind of dab it. Oh. Are you f Well, when plan B doesn't work, you can always remember plan C works just as well. Doesn't that look a lot better now? Again, thanks for joining us, and until next time, happy painting, and God bless.